Okay, lobster, I'm gonna show you guys how to humanely dispatch, cook and dress the most beautiful lobster in the comfort of your own home. So when you're picking your lobsters, they must be live and kicking. This one, straight out the boat, it's live, it's fresh. It's giving me a, a bit of a run for me money. But as you can see on there as well, there's those white bands. One is buoyed more cumry, and the other is Welsh seafood. By supporting buoyed more cumry and purchasing Welsh seafood, you're in hand supporting Welsh fishermen out there on small boats who have a passion for delivering a quality product in the most sustainable manner. And I tell you what, it is absolutely banging. Right, before we get into it, we are working with shellfish. Make sure you're cleaning up as you go and make sure you give the place a good clean afterwards as well and all will be dandy. Don't worry about using live lobsters at home. We're gonna walk through this step by step. They've got the bands on, they're not gonna get you. Make sure they've got the bands on. So to humanely dispatch a lobster, you've got yourself a fresh lobster. The first thing and most important thing is to get this below zero to about minus four. You want to get it into a dormant state first. So to do that, you want to put it in your freezer for about an hour or two. The bigger the pan, the better. Especially if you do more than one lobster. So you fill your pan with water, you get it on the stove, lid on, bring it to the boil. You want that water going hell for leather. There's many ways to serve lobster, but I'm just going to show you how to break it down, dress it yourself, keep it very simple. We might make a few more videos to boost it up a little, go to the next level. Once you get your lobster game on, and we'll change it up after this. Okay, so there's no need to worry about this next bit. We can see now that the lobster is dormant. There is no movement there at all. So right guys, it X marks the spot. As you can see here, you've got a line towards you and a line across you. Where those lines meet is a spot and you're gonna drive the knife down and then pull the knife down towards its head and that will stun your lobster. And then the boiling water, handful of salt, lid back on and four minute timer, away you go. Now whilst they're cooking away for four minutes, get yourself an ice bath ready. If you haven't got ice, just a big pot of cold water will be fantastic. Just keep the cold water running on the lobster when you get it out. So right, lobster's done. You take that out of boiling water and straight into our ice bath. Give that two minutes to cool down and we're good to go. Okay, lobster's chilled. Get it out on the board. If you have a look at that. Got the big claw, the small claw, this is the crusher, this is the fast little nipper stopper which grabs you so that that one can crush you. Hashtag Welsh Seafood, hashtag Boy de Cymru. You know, this is supporting those independent fishermen, the ones who look after the environment when they're fishing, but the ones who supply those good quality products with a very sustainable mind. Just gonna whip these claws off. So you pull, give it a little jiggle, but you give it a good twist and a pop. And get all of that off in one piece. Now I'm going to take the legs off, doing exactly the same. Give them a little, go right up to the body where it attaches and just give them a little twist and a pop. Take all of them off. A lot of people don't use the legs, but I'm going to show you how to get the meat out of there later. You want to use every single big piece of this uh, animal. It's flavour and respect. And now for the body. Again, just going to manipulate that. Give a little twist. So simple. Get ourselves a little bowl for our waist. I say waste, but this is not waste. You've got to keep all the shell because this is God's gift. It's completely beautiful and can be used in a bisque or a fish soup, anything you wish. You'll throw those uh, dead man's fingers in the bin. You see that? We don't want to put them in, so we just scrape everything else out and the rest of it can go in the bin. So right, the claws. You just want to break at each joint, going against the joint the other way, almost dislocating them. So you should end up with a big claw and then three, three pieces, three little knuckles. And then with the claw, we're just gonna put that little wiggle, give it a little twist, and then as quick as we can, just pull that out in one piece. So heel of the knife. And then just shake that out. One nice piece. Beautiful. And now with these, you just check to see whether the meat's come out. We can see the meat's already left here, so we don't need to open them up. We're gonna get our tweezers and some scissors. And we're just gonna snip inside of the shell, applying plenty of pressure, just to loosen that shell away from the meat. And we do the same the other side. 
rather than pull at it, it just keeps the meat nice and whole. So you get a nice bit of knuckle meat. So with the body, I just get a little cloth so we don't puncture ourselves with the shell and we're just gonna press together. And you're just cracking little segments of the shell and we just pull that away. Keeping hold of all those shells. The shells are full of flavour and they're gonna make a lovely soup or a lovely biscuit later on. Don't panic if it's a little bit tough. You can just take your scissors again, very gently. You can see the lobsters already released there. We're just gonna you can just make some little more snips without damaging that lovely colour red of the lobster. You just pull it away and then you're just gonna press and give it a little wiggle. Just to loosen the lobster. And that will come out as one piece. Now I'm just gonna cut that down the body on the inside. And it'll just straighten out the lobster, giving that nice elongated look. And now these little bad boys, which normally get thrown away, for these, I'm going to need our scissors and a rolling pin. I'm just going to snip the ends to release the meat. This is the most fiddly part now. And now these little legs, we've top and tailed with, them, with the scissors. And now we're just going to roll the legs out with our rolling pin. And just push. Look, you see that? Leg. And look what you've got. You've got that lovely claw meat with all the knuckle meat. You've got the leg meat and look at that beautiful tail. And it's not overcooked. We've only cooked it for four minutes. This gives us play time. So when we come to cook it further down the line, if we want to grill it, we can get a little bit more time on there. If we want to bake it, we can. But this is now perfect. A little bit under, but we can use it on a salad. We can dress it up, a little bit of seasoning. Release them up. So we're going to save our shells. What you may think is waste of all these shells is nothing but absolute intense flavour and nutrition. So this would be lovely in a fish soup, in a broth or a bisque. So don't throw it away, make sure you use it up. For now, if you're not going to make anything with it yet, just put it in a, in a bag and whack it in the freezer and you can use it at a later date. Once we've nailed this basic element of the whole lobster, it opens us up to so many variants of different dishes and recipes, which I can't wait to show you all. Phase one, let's get it right, let's nail it and we'll move to phase two together. So I've just had a little clear up, and now it's time to assemble a nice little salad. We've got our fennel, which has been thinly sliced, got some apple in there and some fennel fronds chopped up. Got some actual fennel fronds, our lobster, which we prepped before, and some lemons and a bit of homemade mayonnaise. Very simple. So look at that, simple, beautiful salad. It's so easy, you guys can do it at home. To follow the project, you've got to follow the hashtag Boydmore Cymru, or hashtag Welsh Seafood, to stay in put with the project and to keep up with some recipes that we knock out. Diolch yn fawr, moin Enjoy the recipe, thank you very much.